This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Only When I Love is among the best sitcoms ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Wenda Ventham played the character Fiona in the sitcom when she was 47 in 1982. See, at the age of 88, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Barton and Hove, UK. Gordon, I barely close my eyes all night and I still have this pounding as if there's a great weight on my chest. Uh, yes. The war, when our troops dropped into Crete. But it was, uh, the country was run by the junta, the generals at the time, and uh, so they were... Robert Gillespie played the character Clark in the sitcom when he was 46 in 1979. See, at the age of 90, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Lil Friends. <laughs> it's not my fault, you shouldn't have such big feet. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm proud of this foot. I consider myself another victim of the class struggle. Class struggle. 16-year-old actor at this local drama, uh, local amateur dramatic company. But they also had a school. They also had a teaching stand. It was a very, very posh. Peter Bones played the character Glover in the sitcom when he was 43 in 1979. Sadly, on March 7, 2022, he left us due to cancer at 85 in the UK. We're deeply saddened by his passing. How can you expect us to take you seriously? You're always listening at keyholes and spreading rumors. Remember those immortal words. A coward dies many times before his death. <laughs> and what, what, what was happening was that uh, I was obviously so keen on my part. My research was so enormous. I was so into the part. Stephen Grief played the character Nikos in the sitcom when he was 35 in 1979. Sadly, on December 23rd, 2022, he left us due to cancer at 78 in England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Except for the old remarks. <laughs> See, no, who does he miss? Oh, he's rambling. He's referring to D E A T H. Death? But it's, it's in a pretty, uh, pretty fragile state for people of my generation. Um, and I just have to be patient and, and carry. Richard Wilson played the character Gordon Thorpe in the sitcom when he was 43 in 1979. See, at the age of 87, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion in Renfrewshire, Scotland. They're going to operate. Not much hope. Oh God, poor Victor. Now, now, be brave, my dear. Fight those tears. I, uh, I realize I'm very, very lucky to be where I am. Yeah. Well, you do lots of different things. You and I worked together, didn't we, about four years ago? That's but... a great joy. Patrick Troughton played the character Perkins in the sitcom when he was 60 years old in 1980. Sadly, on March 28, 1987, he left us due to a heart attack at 67 in Columbus, Georgia, USA. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Ah, hello, Perkins. Settling in all right? Yes, thank you, Doctor. Nothing worrying you at all? Oh, no, no, Doctor. They're, uh, they're not creatures from this planet. They have two hearts and uh, no doubt greater numbers of all sorts of things. Uh... When Taylor played the character Victoria Plumtree in the sitcom when she was 42 in 1981. See, at the age of 84, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right in Derbyshire, England. How romantic and with just a hint of sadness, a wry comment on the bittersweet quality of life. I mm. And Birds but, of a Feather has been so successful. Absolutely, and I thought, yes, that would be lovely. And then he said, well, it would be an 18-week tour. So I took a deep breath and thought... James Boland played the character figures in the sitcom when he was 44 in 1979. See, at the age of 88, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in County Durham, England. Of course I'm sure! I was having a quiet drag in one of the cubicles and I heard Thorpe talking. He only gives me a few weeks. Well, you look all right to me. The theatre, hopefully you can't, when you're all in and the, the lights go down and it's, the audience are, are a, a part. 
Frank Miller Mass played the character Charlie in the sitcom when he was 63 in 1982. Sadly, on September 8, 2006, he left us due to illness at 87 in Northwood, London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Terrible, blinding headache, my eyes won't focus, mouth like a parrot's cage. Well, I'm not surprised you've been drinking. Christopher Strolley played the character Norman in the sitcom when he was 33 years old in 1979. See, at the age of 79, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here, in Hertfordshire, England. Without your legs, aren't you? I mean, legs are important, aren't they? They ought to be him as a ruddy ballroom dancer. <laughs> oh. Still, you've got to look on the bright side. Derek Branch played the character Gupte in the sitcom when he was 32 in 1979. See, at the age of 76, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here, in Bombay, India. No, it is a kidney donor card. What? <laughs> In the event of your death, you bequeath your kidneys to somebody less fortunate. Neil McCarthy played the character Harry in the sitcom when he was 50 years old in 1982. Sadly, on February 6, 1985, he left us with motor neuron disease at 52 in Fordingbridge, Hampshire, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Very a meal. <laughs> well, 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 I mean, what's he like? Do you want the good news first or the bad news? What do you mean? Well, the good news... John Junkin played the character Landlord in the sitcom when he was 49 in 1979. Sadly, on March 7, 2006, he left us due to emphysema and asthma at the age of 76 in Ellsbury, Buckinghamshire, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. It's all right, because I am her husband and I'm telling you to examine her. <laughs> well, if you put it like that, well, stand back, let the dog see the rabbit. <laughs> Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in Only When I Love? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.